name is Mark Ellis from Stick and Rudder Studios, and I wanted to uh, just spend a couple of minutes giving you a little bit more information on uh, the new virtual device support that is in the uh, X Keypad 1.4. So, as you saw from the uh, previous demo, uh, what virtual devices are is they're pop out uh, X Plane windows uh, that can emulate a programmable keyboard. Um, these pop-out windows, they can emulate a PI Engineering X Keys keyboard if you wanted to do that. Uh, and But you can also do a whole lot more with them than, than just that. Uh, they can work on pretty much any monitor um, with a mouse, but often uh, they're most commonly used with a touch-enabled monitor. Um, they also could be made to work with tablets uh, such as iPads or Android tablets using a touch monitor emulator like Duet Display which is a relatively inexpensive uh, iPad application or Android application that you could purchase on the on the uh, App Store. And uh, and these just uh, make your iPad look like a secondary touch screen monitor that you can drag these um, virtual device windows over onto. Um, virtual devices uh, have a lot of extra advanced features as I think you saw in the uh, in the demo videos. You have total control over the key and fonts um, beyond just the red and blue um, LEDs that you would get with a physical PI engineering um, device. Uh, you also have the ability to use multiple fonts. Uh, so as an example, not only can you have text fonts, but you can have things like arrow fonts, uh, you know, to have arrows and um, various symbols show up on your uh, key legend. Uh, you've got variable grid layouts. Uh, you can have up to 256 keys on a virtual device. Uh, and with the shift functionality, that actually gives you 512 possible functions that you can do um, on a virtual device. We also support up to eight separate units. And these either could be one virtual device that you can quickly switch uh, between um, eight different units, or you can actually have eight separate virtual device windows, um, you know, each that can get assigned to a different different unit. That total combination gives you 4,096 simulator functions that you could control uh, with X keypad. That's, uh, as an example, 256 keys times two different shift things, which gives you 512, and then you multiply that times eight units and you come up with 4,096 functions. Um, more than I think you'll ever really going to want to use uh, on any particular configuration. So how are these uh, virtual devices configured? Well, just like the physical devices, they're, they're configured with a simple comma delimited text file. Um, and in each of these columns, you can put things like the X-Plane command um, that you want executed when you press that key. Um, you can reference X-Plane data refs. Um, they can not only activate simulator functions, but they can be used to drive, you know, what color you want that key, what label you want shown, uh, you know, on that key, uh, a number of different things, okay, that um, as something changes in the simulator, like the transponder state switching from standby to altitude mode or on, you can control what's really going on with that, with that key. Um, you also configure, as I said, uh, key and font colors, the font types. Uh, the key labels can be dynamic. They can change based upon what's going on in the simulator. Um, you can control the unit names on the on the units. And you can even have things like click, sen click sensitive uh, actions, uh, you know, for the keys, like where do you touch on the key or where do you click with the mouse will determine what the simulator will do. And it even has drag support um, where you can um, drag a particular uh, you know key and get it to change uh, something like a heading bug or a, a course bug or, or altimeter settings um, you know with the drag operation and uh, you can get this to interface with uh, Lua scripts for more advanced key labeling formatting if you're into doing some coding so X keypad comes with two pre-configured samples for the Baron 58 and the Cessna 172 the Baron 58 sample is actually unique in that it will work uh, with the unregistered version. The unregistered version of X keypad will let you support up to 32 keys uh, and up to two units. And that's completely free. You don't have to buy uh, a key for that. And that Baron 58 sample is specifically designed 
uh, to work uh, you know with that unregistered version because it has a limited set of uh, key definitions and then the Cessna 172 examples got a much more expansive um, you know configuration it looks uh, kind of like an XK80 uh, lots of different functions that are on there that does require the registered version to work um, there are also a lot of uh, configurations that have been put up by users on uh, xplane.org. Um, if you look in the user documentation, there is a link there that uh, shows you where that area is where you can download pre-configured um, configurations for XKeypad there. And when you get done with your own, you can um, you know push them up there and share them with the community. There's extensive tutorial videos available. Uh, that'll walk you step by step on how to go through and do a configuration if you want to do your own. So let's talk a little bit about the level of difficulty for doing these things. Well, first off, if you use one of the pre-configured ones that come with the samples or you find one that you like on the, on the community, um, it's pretty easy. You just drag those uh, CSV files um, and drop them in the appropriate folder. Uh, or uh, and if you got a Lewis script that goes along with it, you drop that into your fly with Lewis scripts folder and it will just work. Um, now, if you want to extend that by adding some simple function keys, that's fairly easy to do. Um, you just add another line. You have to find the X plane command that you want to associate with that key. You give it a key label um, and you're pretty much off to the races and uh, and go. Uh, now, to do something more complicated like uh, you know working with either complex aircraft or um, having to do things like wanting to change the color background of the key based upon what's going on in the simulator or changing the label or complex behavior that can get uh, quite a bit more complicated and you'll have to use things like the data ref tool to find the commands and the data refs that let you do that. Uh, sophisticated label formatting requires logic and possibly Lua scripting, uh, Lua ri uh, script writing. So it can get pretty involved. And a, a pretty good example is, is just take a look at the Zebo 737 uh, community file. That was actually part of the demo video that you that you just saw. Um, and it's got a pretty extensive example how you can do some pretty fancy things. But you can download that, take a look at it and you can get a sense of uh, what you might be getting yourself into if you want to uh, uh, do your own configurations for some advanced uh, aircraft. So I think that pretty much covers it. Um, I uh, definitely recommend you uh, download the free version of X Keypad, try some of the samples, um, and uh, see if it's something that you're interested in before you actually uh, go buy a, a, a key for it. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, demo of X keypad virtual devices.